Yes, it's Jumble. And here's your host, Jeff Stevenson. Thank you. Good morning. How are you? Welcome to Jumble. Now, for any of those viewers at home who were thinking of using the M25 after the show finishes and were worried about the big tailback they reported on the news just now, you're okay. A tanker full of cough mixture has just overturned and shed its load and completely cleared the congestion. <laughs> and now, we have a very wide awake crowd here this morning. And now another tip. If you enjoy solving cryptic clues and unscrambling anagrams, then stay tuned to Jumble, the funny punny game where our contestants can win up to 500 smackaroonies. <laughs> we have, once again, two teams playing the game. Each team is made up of one member of the public and one celebrity. And first, we have a comedian who once did a spell of teaching. Unfortunately, he spelled it with two E's and got the sack. But we don't mind. He's a great comic. He's here. He's Tom O'Connor. <laughs> <laughs> How are you, Tom? Smash it, yeah. So, Tom, uh, we were talking earlier. Now, I remember a few years ago, and I want you to tell us a story. I was doing the warm-up for a show that we did at Thames. Right. Uh, Wednesday at 8, and uh, the fire alarm went off. It was a Christmas show. Very quickly, it was a Christmas show. We had Cilla Black, Vince Hill, uh, Keith Harrison Orville, 16 dancers, 500 in the audience, 58 musicians, and we got the fire bell. And we scatter, right? And we go outside, and the fire brigade said, you can't stand here, because if the place blew up and everything, you know, you get on, uh, hit on here with the bricks. You'll have to go in the pub next door. And the, <laughs> the Anglers pub in Teddington holds yeah. about 40 people ringing yeah. wet. And in goes, like, 500 people, 58 fellas with trumpets and trombones. Yep. Yeah. 16 girls in dance costumes, Cilla Black, Vince Hill, Orville the Duck and me. And as we go in, there's a wedding party in the corner of the room. And the bride said, there's dancers, there's a band, there's Cilla Black, there's Vince Hill, there's Orville, there's Tom O'Connor. And the best man said, didn't I say I'd lay it all on? <laughs> Lovely. And, yeah. To this day, we'll never know if it wasn't him who gave the fire alarm. Brilliant. <laughs> Listen, any comedy heroes coming on? I've got my heroes. What about you? Well, my all-time hero, of course, has got to be Al Reed. Yeah. Because right. he was my all-time favourite because I tried to do his kind of comedy, which is looking at life, enlarging life. Oh, Descri he had wonderful lines that said it all in one sentence. You yeah. know, the wife would say, that's an awful lot of aftershave for a darts match. Great, great line. <laughs> Obscure, I, yeah. It's good, and I, I collected. He's the one who told me that lovely story about the fellow who rang up the police station. He said, "I believe you caught the burglar who broke into our house last night." He really? said, "Yeah." He said, "Will you ask him to tell you how he got in without waking the wife?" <laughs> lovely story. Lovely. Introduce us to your partner, Tom. Well, I have a lovely lady here called Gina, and not only is she a lovely lady and a charming housewife, she's also in the business. This lady oh, really? is a singer. <laughs> oh, so there you are. Welcome are you, to you. Are you uh, a full-time professional singer? Oh, well, I'm trying. You're trying. <laughs> That's great. What sort of venues? Um, mostly it's been clubs just lately. Yeah. I mean, I started off in the pubs and I'd like to be famous. Great. Well, I'll tell you what, here's your chance. Because what <laughs> I want you to do, I want you to sing just a quick verse from a song and I want you to sing it to uh, Tom O'Connor. OK, oh, this is your chance. Oh, National television nervous. in the morning, three, four million people watching. OK, so now's your chance, Gina. What are you going to sing? Um... Oh, a bit from Saving All My Love. A bit from what? Saving All My Love. OK, <laughs> Whitney Houston. Off you go, Gina. This is Gina, and she's now going to sing to Tom O'Connor. Here right. we go. I've got to look deep into his eyes. I think. Yes. Though I try to resist being last on your list, but no other man's going to do. So I'm saving all my love for you. What about that, ladies and gentlemen, Gina? Whoa! Good stuff! And that's Gina, who's a part-time singer. And we also have Tom O'Connor in our first team. Our second team is led by a celebrity who is that delightful lady who is so aptly named. Because she always wins her affection. She always wins her hearts. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is Barbara Windsor! <laughs> what an intro! Oh. Isn't she lovely? Oh. Oh. lovely. Barbara, now I know you, you're uh, into a bit of cooking. You've got the restaurant. Oh, that's my husband, Stephen. Yes, yeah. we have a pub and, and, and restaurant in Amersham. Yes. Do you enjoy that? Does it get you away from the business for a while? Oh, no. No, Stephen always said to me, Barbara, just do me one favour when we first got it. Just stay away. <laughs> Don't yeah. leave me alone. I'm just cherry on the cake time, you know, because right. I see things that I'm not happy about and I've just got to leave it to him. But it's very like show business, actually. Yeah. 
you know, there's murders going on in the kitchen and I have to come out like that with the dish. It's <laughs> <laughs> like us in the dressing. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> I know your favourite time of the year. got to be Christmas. Oh, panto. Right, well, you know I love it. We've done yeah. Panto together a couple of times. Yeah. I mean, it's smashing. I've been playing fairy for the last few years, but I went back to playing Aladdin. I'd forgotten how I like playing boy. Yeah. Well, listen, yeah. introduce us to the boy sitting next to you. Well, that's this is lovely Lou from Leon C near South End. Cops really? Well, well done. <laughs> yeah. Good to see you, Lou. How <laughs> you there? So, Lou, what is, uh, what is Lou short for? What is Lou short for, the name? Louis. And what uh -huh. they call you, Lou, for convenience. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Oh. And I understand oh, it's early yeah. in the morning. What do you want this time of the day? Listen, Lou, <laughs> what, uh, what did you do before you retired? I was a shipping manor for, manager for a big construction company. And you travelled all over the world? Well, a lot of places, you can say, yes. I used to follow the cargo and do a bit of troubleshooting, get it Troubleshooting? I, I wonder why you were here. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about troubleshooting. What's that all about? Well, you, you sometimes uh, hear of uh, material, plant, getting stuck at overseas ports, and then you go out and find out why. Great. And then make sure it goes through. That's good. It's all well, part of the job. We wish you all the very best of luck today on Jumble. We've met our teams. Let's get on with the proceedings and look at our first cryptic clue cartoon. Let's play Jumble. <laughs> This jumble cartoon is worth £25. Let's take a look at it. There is the cartoon. We need the solution to this cryptic clue. Listen out, teams. Designed to cool the feet when walking indoors. Designed to cool the feet when walking indoors. Tom and Gina, we have decided that you are going to bat first. Who is yelling? Who is spelling? Well, I've heard her sing. And if she can sing that well, I think she can yell that well. So I'll spell. Excellent. And OK. I'll Up you top. <laughs> We come to the first of our four jumble words. Each word relates to our cartoon. You have 15 seconds to unscramble it. If you do so, Gina, we're going to give you 10 quid and a crack at solving our cryptic clue cartoon. Tom, loads of spelling, no yelling. You cannot give any vocal help to you, Gina. But Gina, loads of vocal, loads yes. of yelling, but no spelling. You've got 15 seconds. Good luck. Here's your first word. Relief? Yes, and what a relief it is. You've got that quick. Excellent. Now you will see that we have the R, the L and the F on our red squares. These are now our key letters. I'm going to take them over to the Jumble Cartoon board. I'm going to put the R there, the A, the F there, the L there. Gina, designed to call the feet when walking indoors. What do you think? I haven't got a clue yet. You haven't got a clue <laughs> no. yet? Not to worry. It's early days. It wouldn't do you any good to get it that early anyway. Second Jumble coming up. 15 seconds. Go. Think aloud, Gina. Okay, I'm not going to Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. that's all right. <laughs> yeah, you got it. <laughs> so that's what it's all about. Just keep thinking aloud. <laughs> okay, we take the P, we take the T. I'm going to do a bit of PT. I'm going to run over here. I'm going to put the P there, the T there. Gina, designed to call the feet when walking indoors. What do you think? Something floor. No. <laughs> Something floor. <laughs> okay, over we go once more. Third. You, you actually, well, no, I'm not going to give you any give you any clues. Third jumble coming up. Fifteen seconds. Go. Endo. No. Uh, <laughs> wooden. Yes. yes. Well done. <laughs> right, we take the O O O O O O. Oh, we put the O there. The Oh, I'm going to put that there. <laughs> OK. Right. Because that's what I am. Designed to call the feet when walking indoors. What do you think? No, not yet. I haven't got no, that. not yet. Are you no. holding out? Yes. I'm going to tell you more about that, viewers, in just a moment. Over we go. <laughs> Four, fourth jumble coming up. Fifteen seconds. Go. But for me, I think Tom's got it. Square. It is a square. <laughs> Gina, well done, Tom. We take the Q, we take the U, we take the R, we take the R, we take the E. Over we go. We put the R there. We put the E there. The A there, the U there, the Q there. In you go, Tom. You've got some spelling to do. Designed to call the feet when walking indoors. What do you think? Parquet floor. Oh, no. <laughs> take your place and over there. Oh. Excellent. Well done. So we have Tom and Gina. Up and running with a maximum score of 65 pounds. Excellent. Early day 
these early days. So we've gone to our second cartoon. This cartoon is worth £25. Let's take a look at it. There is the cartoon, and here is the clue that we want you to solve. Listen out, Lou. Listen out, Barbara. Receivers in battle at British Telecom. Receivers in battle at British Telecom. Lou, Barbara, who's yelling, who's spelling? Well, when I was a little girl many, many years ago at school, spelling was my best subject, so I'm going for spelling. Oh, well, good. I must go for yelling. Yes, right. You've got... You've got your first jumble coming up. You've got 15 seconds. Good luck, Lou. Good luck, Barbara. Starting now. Enemy. Yes, well done. Spell it out. That's it. Here we go. Excellent. Right. We take the N and we take the Y. Start spreading the news. <laughs> we put the N there and we put the Y there. Lou, receivers in battle at British Telecom. What do you think? Not a lot. Not a lot. <laughs> <laughs> we cannot make any comment there because we're going to go back over here. Otherwise, I'm going to be off the air. And we come to our second jumble. 15 seconds on the clock. Go. Okay. Uh, we call? No. no. You can't. Oh. You can't yell. That's all right. No, it's all right. No. So, so, She's Thank right, you. recall. Oh, no, it's not, it's not that. <laughs> She's seen it. So I'm afraid no. you have lost oh, control. Dear. You take your places no, over there. Fault. Gina and Tom, up to your top. You've gained control. So Gina and Tom, you've got 15 seconds. I don't think you're going to need it. What is it? <laughs> Caller. It is, I'm afraid. <laughs> OK, we take the A over here. Because this is now a key letter. The A goes in yeah, there. Gina, receivers in battle at British Telecom. What do you think? No, no. no? Are you holding out? A little bit. You're bluffing. <laughs> okay, we'll talk about that in just a moment. Over we go. Third jumble coming up. 15 seconds on the clock. Go. Hello. Hello. <laughs> well done. <laughs> we take the H and the O. Over we go. We put the H O there. Gina, receivers in battle at British Telecom. What do you think? Uh, I'll, I'll wait. You're going to hold out. <laughs> OK, over we go. Once more. Fourth jumble coming up. 15 seconds on the clock. Go. Power? Yes. You have the power. <laughs> OK, we take the P for W. E, R, over we go. Tom, we've got some spelling to do. We put the E there, the P there, the R there, the W there. In you go, Tom. You may have a bit of spelling to do. Gina, receivers in battle at British Telecom. Phony War. Phony Good War. You've got it. Thank you. Go to your places. <laughs> Phony War. So at this point in the game, we have Barbara Windsor and Lou with £10, and Tom and Gina steaming ahead with £120. <laughs> Now, remember at home, there are tactics on Jumble. It's the way that you play, it can pay to delay. Now, obviously, the more anagrams that you get, the more the money builds up, and the better your chances of going through to our final for the £200 cryptic clue jackpot prize. Let me just tell you, we are now going to move on to round two. This time, our cartoon is worth £50. There is the cartoon. And here is the clue. It's hardly visible how dad makes baby laugh. It's hardly visible how dad makes baby laugh. Tom, Gina, who's yelling? Who's spelling? We're going to stay the same? Yes. OK. OK, okay up you pop. <laughs> 15 seconds on the clock. First jumble, go. Small. Yeah, you got it. Well done. <laughs> we take the A and the L. Over we go. We put the L right there, the A right there. Gina, it's hardly visible how Dad makes baby laugh. What do you think? Not too sure yet. You're not too sure. Are you no. bluffing? I might be. You might be. <laughs> Good stuff. 15 seconds, go. Legging? No. no. Giggling. Something giggle. that Tom gives <laughs> us a lot of. A giggle. Oh, we go. The E there and the I there. Right, Gina, it's hardly visible how Dad makes baby laugh. What do you think? Oh, no, it's not what I thought it was. <laughs> it's not what you thought no. it was? What did you think it was? No, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Oh, it doesn't matter. Right, well, you can tell us if you want. You're not going to lose. Right. OK, third jumble coming up. 15 seconds. Go. Oh. 
Oh. Tom O'Connor, you are incredible at this game. A PC makes its way over here as a lonely pair. We put the C there, the P there. Gina, it's hardly visible how Dad makes baby laugh. What do you think? No, I'm not sure at all. Not to worry, no, we'll go no. over here. OK. F uh, fourth jumble coming up. 15 seconds, go. <laughs> Titter. Yes. <laughs> Titter, ye misses. We'll take the T in the R. Over we go, Tom. We've got a bit of spelling to do. We'll put the T in there. we put the R in there. Gina, it's hardly visible how Dad makes baby laugh. Particle. Particle. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Dad is pa. He tickles baby to make him laugh. Pa tickle, and that's hardly visible. It's so small. So, Barbara and Lou, ten pounds. Tom and Gina, steaming ahead with two hundred and ten pounds. Very good. Good game, this morning. So, we go on to our fourth cartoon. It's worth 50 quid. Let's have a look at it. There's the cartoon, and here is the clue we want you to solve. Listen, Lou, listen, Barbara. More recently, the Queen's consort has taken up a new interest. More recently, the Queen's consort has taken up a new interest. Lou, Barbara, who is yelling? Who is spelling? Up to you. That ask the spell? Yeah, yeah, yeah OK, okay. Up, up, you uh, up you pop. Up you pop. 15 seconds, first jumble, go. Hoppy. Yes. Hoppy. Hoppy. We take that. We take the H. I keep saying H, and people are writing in saying he mustn't say H. He yeah. must say H. So I have the H because we Cockneys we do do that we sometimes. We do don't do we, that, Barbara? darling. Yeah. Yes, we do. So we put the H <laughs> right there. Lou, what do you think? More recently, the Queen's consort has taken up a new interest. Any ideas? Later on. Later on. Okay, that's good. You're going to bluff. Why not? But don't forget, if you come over here and you lose over at this point, Ooh, uh, then you have to hand over to Tom and Gina. Yeah. 15 seconds on the clock. Second jumble. Go. Letter. Well done. <laughs> there we go. Right, so we take the L, we take the T, that well-known transport. We put the T there, <laughs> we, took the, we put the L there. Tom. Uh, no, Lou, I should say. Lou, more recently, the Queen's consort has taken up a new interest. What do you think? Don't know, Fred. You don't know Fred? Oh, <laughs> thanks very much. That's all right. Let's go over and join Jennifer. Anyway, third jumble coming up. 15 seconds on the clock. Go. Royal. Yes. Well done. Very good. So take the Y, the A, and the L. Spells yow. And we put the L there. The A there, the Y there. Lou, more recently the Queen's consort has taken up a new interest. Any idea? No. Are you going to hold out? I uh, know. You're not? Oh, I right. don't know it. No, oh, good. <laughs> That's all right. Don't worry about it. Already, do it to me, What did you say now? Seconds. Already, so 15 so. seconds, but to you. Uh, 15 <laughs> seconds on the clock. Go. Princess. Well done, yes. <laughs> The D, the I, and the E. Fancy coming over here for a pie? Yes, darling. Why not? We'll put the E there, the I there, the P there. Barbara, I think you're going to have to do some spelling. More recently, the Queen's Consort has taken up a new interest. You've got 15 seconds to come up with an answer, starting now. Oh. Yeah, I know it. Oh, you know it. What is it? Philately. Well done. Go and take your place. Excellent. Take your place over there. More recently, the Queen's Consort has taken up a new interest. Philately. OK, so at this point in the game, ladies and gentlemen, we have Barbara and Lou with £100, but going through to our final, oh, Tom and Gina with £210. Thank you. Thank you. Lou, you've been a great sport. I'm sorry about that. You just missed it by that split second at the uh, back at the beginning of the show. So I recall. <laughs> I hope you've had a good morning. Have you had a good morning with us? I have a great morning, thank well, you. Thanks for joining us, mate. Maybe see you. Feel lately, will we? No, no, no. <laughs> maybe see you on tour, maybe in South End sometime. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please say a big thank you to Lou's celebrity partner, our mate, Barbara Windsor. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> thanks, Barbara. Join us in part two when Gina could add another £200 to her score with the help of Tom O'Connor. We'll see you in just a moment. Head up.
Welcome back to Jumble. Our team of Tom O'Connor and Gina have successfully got to the final round. And Gina now has a chance to add another £200 to her score by solving the cryptic clue that goes with this cartoon. Here is the cartoon. There is the cartoon. And here is the clue we want you to solve. Listen out, Gina. Listen out, Tom. To be honest, he is not supple enough for England's scrum. To be honest, he's not supple enough for England's scrum. Solve that clue, Gina, and another £200 is yours. Here's how you do it. I'm going to show you six jumbled words. They are number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, and number six. Each jumble unscrambles into a word. Each word relates to our cartoon, and each one you get correct will give you key letters to help you solve our cartoon caption. You have 60 seconds. Are you both ready? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Take your places right now. Up you pop. <laughs> we wish you all the very best, Gina. We wish you the best, Tom. Off you go. You've got 60 seconds on the clock starting now. <laughs> Think aloud. Oh, wait. Yes, well done. <laughs> Move on. Oh, Correct. Go. Popper. Correct. Move on. Player. Yes, correct. <laughs> move on. Is that Frank? It is. Correct. <laughs> move on. Shirt. Correct. Move on. Um, oh. oh, I don't know. I'm being. <laughs> Let me just tell you, you got weight, you got hooker, you got player, you got Frank. You've got shirt and you've got unbend. Tom, Gina, come over here. I'm going to show you how the letters have taken their place on our jumble cartoon board. They are jumbled. I'm going to give you 10 seconds to confer. When the time runs out, I'm going to ask you for an answer. Set the clock. The final jumble clue is, to be honest, he's not supple enough for England's scrum. You've got 10 seconds to confer. Start conferring now. <laughs> Okay, to be honest, he's not supple enough for England scrum. Gina, Tom, what do you think? Straightforward. You have got it. You have won another £200. Thank you. So <laughs> Gina, you are £410 richer. Have you had a good morning with us? Yes, it's been great. Thanks very much, and we'd like to thank your celebrity partner, ladies and gentlemen, Mr Tom O'Connor. Thank Thanks, Tom. Thank Thanks, mate. Thank nice to see you again. Well... Tom and I are off for a game of golf. I think Gina's off to the recording studio to make her new LP. We'll see you tomorrow on Jumble. Ta-da!